let's start creating the parts that we need for this diagram. The simplest part will be a PVC pipe. So let's create a new document and in part design let's create a body and start a sketch in the XY plane. Okay. And let's draw a line here. Let's make this line straight up and down. We don't need this constraint. We'll delete it. And we'll set the length of this line. Um, let's just make a, for right now, let's just make an 8-inch pipe. We can make it anything we want later. So now we have an 8-inch pipe. So let's click Close. And now we want the circle with the center at the origin where the pipe started. If we create sketch right here, we're going to be in the wrong plane, I think. So we'll close out of this. We'll go to the model, click on body, and click sketcher, and it'll let us choose the XZ plane. So say OK. And now we can draw our circle. So let's click on circle right at the the center and we can change the radius here in a minute. Let me set the radius to two inches which is not right but let's set it like that anyway for right now. We'll say OK and we'll close this and now we have our sketch that we need to make the pipe but the dimensions aren't exactly right. So if we look at this sketch, we can see that the dimensions are 8 inches. That's okay. But this, we really want the radius, the inner radius of the 2-inch pipe, and it's not 2 inches. So I'm going to pause this video and go to the other document where we had the spreadsheet and copy it over into this document. Okay, I've got the spreadsheet in here now, so now we can just change this constraint. And if you click on this little icon there that you can barely see, if we click on it, it'll let us use a variable. And the variable is going to be from that spreadsheet, and it's going to be the inner radius of 2-inch pipe. And so we'll say OK. And now this should have the correct dimensions on it. The next step is to sweep this circle across this line to end up with a straight pipe. So I've selected the circle and we're going to click on this icon here while we're in part design and it wants us to add an edge. So I'll click add edge and I'll click this edge and you can see it's starting to look pretty close. So let's say OK. And the problem is that this is a pipe, but it looks solid. So to fix that, it's, it's a little bit weird, but you click on one of these faces and we'll click on the thick solid. And we actually need to do both faces. So we'll add face, we'll rotate this around a bit, click on this other face, say OK. And now we have a two inch pipe. There's one little mistake when we created this pipe. The, the wall thickness of the PVC pipe is not correct. So you can see here it got defaulted to this value, so we need to change that. Let's click on this icon so we can use the variable in our spreadsheet, which is the wall thickness for 2-inch pipe, and we'll say OK and click here somewhere and you can see now that this pipe has the correct thickness and it's a good part for our diagram.